Welcome back to a new episode here of the New Byte Gaming News. My name is Alsis and let's just jump right into it. Because first bit of news is actually security again. If you are using the Asus Live Update um, tool, it actually allowed apparently hackers using a backdoor leaving up to 57,000 PCs vulnerable. Now, know all about if you've been affected, of course, in the video description down below, the first link is the story. Going on into gaming news, of course, we also have Nintendo apparently could announce, reportedly, okay, uh, two new versions of the Nintendo Switch this year, a more powerful one and a smaller version, which is apparently also cheaper than the current version. There's not much known about it yet. The Wall Street Journal so far reported about that, and of course, everyone else is just like half and long, but... I don't really know if it's that good for them to do that. This is like a new Nintendo Switch or I don't know, Nintendo Switch Mini. I have no idea. If this is actually true, we'll see you hopefully very soon then in an official announcement. And PlayStation uh, also held their state of the play, which is sort of like Nintendo Direct, a only Sony centered Game Central. And this one had a lot about VR games, of course, other games as well, but especially in VR times, there's lots of games coming around. And if the page would actually load properly, we'd see a few of them here just scrolling by. One of the more interesting ones, of course, is the one uh, by Rick and Morty creator, what's it, Trove of Saves the Universe. And of course, we have Five Nights at Freddy's VR. Ah, why? No, God. Something else is also very interesting, of course, is No Man's Sky getting a virtual reality update as part of the Beyond update. And including this also, you have then online multiplayer with that, so online multiplayer VR and the fantastic, beautiful words of No Man's Sky. In quotation, beautiful, I mean, hey, for VR, it's probably the best thing to come out right now. Coming on this summer. And if you're a fan of Crash Team Racing and Dynamo Field, there will be peaceful for exclusive content like these retro skins coming to only the PlayStation 4 when the game comes out on June 21st. Of course, there's even more about that, so there's also another compilation article here by GamesRadar, which outlines also, hey, there will be an Iron Man VR game. That, again, is very interesting. Most of them on the Comment 11, Five Nights at Freddy's, as teased before, No Man's Sky, A Days Gone Story Trail is here, Blood and Truth, another VR game, and so many more. Quite lots of things come around for, of course, PlayStation VR, but also other things outside of the VR realm, so yeah, that's definitely very cool for the PlayStation folks out there. But of course, not only PlayStation was doing something new, Apple also decided, hey, we are doing a new thing. Actually, they are launching Apple Arcade. This is a game subscription service with at least 100 exclusive titles in the beginning, and it will launch this fall. It will be a subscription service where you pay once every month, and not much is more known right now in regards to price. There will be family sharing enabled for free, so this is included already in the standard subscription, which I think is very nice. This is not limited only to mobile games, but also apparently coming over to desktop games and smart TV games as they can stream the games, but you can also apparently download them. So yeah, it was actually not bad for now at least. There's a very lengthy, of course, support list from so many developers like Clay, for example, that I know of. Disney, we have Sega, of course, Konami supporting this and so many more. And what's very interesting, of course, also the inclusion of Hiro Nobu Sakaguchi, the creator of the Final Fantasy series, in Becca Salzman, CEO and co-founder of Finji. Yeah, so there will be interesting stuff coming towards Apple Arcade. Of course, there's also more coming around. So I touched a Wired article, which is more going on to the tech sites like a new Apple credit card and Apple TV Plus. Links for all of these topics so far, of course, are in the video description down below. And moving on, apparently there will be a Persona 5 The Royal announcement on April 24th, which, yes, yeah, Persona 5 Battle Royale, apparently. Sounds crazy, but maybe it works, I don't know. I always think, like, hey, if you have a Battle Royale game that's not a shooter and it's hard, that is always interesting to see. So, yeah, I'm going to be excited for April 24th. Remedy Entertainment actually teased a new thing which they are showing off of their new engine, and that is Return Ray Tracing in Control. So if you like ray tracing, of course, check out that teaser down here. And Gearbox invited us to co-stream actually the announcement of what they will show on Thursday at 2 p.m. EST. So if you're a streamer, just go along. You can actually co-host this announcement, announcement barrage that they will have on first of all. So most likely Borderlands 3 and apparently I'm still saying this is a battle royale again that they do where they teased something with Bulletstorm and Duke Nukem. So we'll see what this is about. 
but definitely, yeah, Borderlands 3, it's time to show us what that is. Moving on, more game announcements. Also, we have WayForward announcing Chen Take 5, another jump around game which I really like. And there's a new Lord of Rings game coming soon that is all about Gollum. That is all about Gollum. And that is actually developed by Dadalek, which is another German games developer, i.e. So I'm very happy about that. And for everyone in the PC space who are wondering, hey, when are going Rage 2 and War Games coming out on Steam instead of just the Bethesda launcher on PC? There's good news, actually. All of these games will come soon, of course, to Steam. And included that is also Doom Eternal. People are always wondering, like, oh, is this now exclusive to Google Stadia? Or is this only coming to Bethesda Games Launcher? No. Rage 2, Wolfenstein, Youngblood, Wolfenstein, Cyberpilot, and Doom Eternal all will come to Steam as well. And yes... This also includes Fallout 76. As well as the last few things, I'm including also Battlefield 5 Firestorm review here on Kotaku by Paul Tamayo. It's, it's a good read, I would definitely say. Uh, from what I've covered so far from all the Battlefield players and streamers that I follow, Firestorm itself is quite fun, but the losing system, you know, could use some tweaks, so we'll see how that will turn around. Hideo Kojima is starting to play Death Stranding more and more, and is actually in the key time of development. So he's just going in and saying, okay, this is good, this works on something uh, that's not working, he's going to take that out. So all the tools apparently are now in the engine and are part of the game design. And I was just playing through and actually seeing if everything was that he has a thought of. So yeah, that's a little bit of our Death Stranding game news. And something that happened at the beginning of March, which I didn't notice, if you still know Trackmania Turbo, the latest release on the Trackmania series by Ubisoft, there apparently was a point in time in March, on March 5th, where a guy had the world record for all of the 200 main tracks in Trackmania Turbo at once. His Riolu, as seen here, link is of course in the description down below, and you can see his free hour video completing all 200 races and his world record times. This is insane. This has probably never happened before that one person has all of the original tracks world records, so congratulations. And as a sad last bit of news, Take Two founder Ryan Brand passed away on March 23rd at the age of 49. This news was announced by Quadrimon Funeral Cremation and Event Center in West Palm Beach, Florida. Brand founded Take Two back in 1993 and served as the company's CEO until February 2001, but remained with the company as a chairman for many years, eventually taking a non executive role as VP of production until leaving in 2006. Thank you for everything, Ryan Brand. Ed. May you rest in peace. And that has been it again for the gaming news today here on the new button. My name is Hosses. Hope you liked it. And of course, I wish you all a nice day. See you tomorrow again, hopefully. And yeah, stay awesome. Bye bye.